Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the last contestant of UTM 3MT 2016. Without further delay, I will I would like to invite our final contestant from Faculty of Build Environment, Bad Asolami, with his presentation entitled "Crowding Perception." <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The journey of Hajj. It is the wish for more than 1.6 billion Muslims around the globe. Only an average of 2.5 millions attend the Hajj every year. One major stage in the Hajj is to stay at Mina for minimum three days. Mina is a holy site that has a defined boundaries that cannot be expanded. And it has a total area of less than four square kilometer that need to accommodate the 2.5 millions. And this is where the challenge starts. We have 2.5 millions and we have a really strict, very restricted area. But what makes the challenge become an issue is the risk associated with the crowding phenomena. With densities reach up to five people per square meter. You know, there are lots of crowding accidents. One of these is the stampedes. Sadly, between 1987 and 2006, more than 3,300 pilgrims lost their life in Mina in Stambid accident. For me, it's very painful, as I have been working in the Hajj for the last 15 years, witnessing some of these accidents and facing the fears of pilgrims for being harmed in such conditions. I always kept asking myself what we can do to prevent these accidents in this crowding condition. I believe it is not about the restricted area or the number. There is something that we cannot see with our eyes. And maybe, just maybe, the answer that we are looking for could be hidden there in, within the pilgrims themselves. So my research adopts crowding perception and aims to find a solution by trying to understand the pilgrims. It is well known that high levels of crowding perception has a serious consequences, such as aggressive behavior. In context such as the Hajj, aggressive behavior might lead to stampede accident and hence losing life. So we have to find a way to control high levels of crowding perception. And I'm doing that by analyzing data for more than 1,200 pilograms that are detected during the Hajj and by using a promising model. The key findings from this analysis will provide us with understanding of how pilgrims perceived crowding and how it affects the level of safety and comfort. Also, it's going to help us to understand what are the factors that influences the crowding perception. By understanding this domain, we'll be able to predict and prevent high levels of crowding perception to reduce and to make sure that if each Hajj, each pilgrim has a normal and very safe journey to fulfill their wish of having this peaceful journey. Thank you very much.